jury of nine women, three men, will begin deliberations this morning in the Aurora Theater shooting trial. 7 News reporter Amanda Zitzman joins us now from the newsroom. And Amanda, the families of the victims are hoping the jury can reach a quick verdict. And those families are certainly leaning on each other as we await the jury's decision regarding the shooter's sanity. There is no set time for deliberations. It could take several days. And based on the trial's schedule, the third potential day for deliberations would be on Monday, July 20th. That's the third anniversary of the shooting. Many of the victim's family members say they've been feeling the same emotions. Sandy Phillips walked out of the courtroom following closing arguments. She was wearing her daughter Jessica's green scarf. Jessica was an aspiring sportscaster. She was killed in the Century 16 shooting. It's been with me every day. I get hugs from her this way. Can't have them in real life, so you take what you can get. Right, everybody in this world is going to move on, except these 12 families. There's 165 charges against the shooter. 164 of them deal with victims or survivors. Mitch. Thank you, Amanda. It's 533. We're getting a better look at who's going to be deliberating this uh, trial. These uh, jurors highlighted in green here are the jurors who are going to decide the shooter's fate. You can find this tool on our website. There are nine women, three men, as we said. For example, if you, you click on these, you can get kind of a profile. You can see the man in seat number 15 is a manager at Bed Bath & Beyond. The juror in seat six believes in an eye for an eye. The woman in seat five has a niece who survived Columbine. The jurors you see here in red, they've been excused. They're gone. The rest, those in yellow, they're on standby in case one of those in green has to be released. You can find this tool on the DenverChannel.com. We'll stay on top of the jury deliberations. We'll alert you the instant we get a verdict on our 7 News app.